Well, congratulations on Miss Venezuela. Tell me about your journey and tell me about your experiences in Venezuela to be here. Thank you for having me here. I'm so proud of being representing my country because we've been having some hard time in Venezuela and I feel like I can be a little bit of joy for my people and I'm really proud to be representing Venezuela because we are like big fans of beauty patterns and it's part of our tradition and our culture and even though we had the COVID and the pandemic, we made a great job by doing a virtual pageant in Venezuela and it was such a different but amazing experience that I have learned a lot about it. Why do you think Venezuelans love the pageant world? Well, because I see them out there, they're crazy fans. Why do they love, what's so special about the pageant here that they love? The, the special thing about pageants in Venezuela, I think it's because it's part of our culture as Venezuelan women. I don't know why, it's in our blood, I believe, and, and it's very beautiful to see how many Venezuelans are here every day during the whole, even though we have some COVID restrictions and regulations, people are there every day waiting for me, every time I go to dinner, every time I go to breakfast. It's just amazing. I'm really grateful and thankful for that, for them because that is like a, a boost of energy for me every day. Does it make you feel a little nervous to carry that responsibility of being with Venezuela competing in Miss Universe with crazy fans out there? Yeah, there, I, there is a common question that you always asking me if this is a this is put me a lot of pressure or if this is a big responsibility and yeah it is a big responsibility but I feel I have to work like the other girls because this is a competition where all the girls are really smart are really wonderful they have all a big big and a strong story so we have to all uh, act with discipline really more passion and, and be responsible in every activity and I feel like. I'm proud of being in Venezuela, but it's also a big, big responsibility for me. What are some of the things that you feel like have made you so successful in this world and you're now Miss Venezuela? What has sort of helped you become who you are and you know, being Miss Venezuela? Yeah, being Miss Venezuela requires great discipline and, and responsibility because you have to work a lot in order to become in a, in a beauty pageant in a, or in a platform such as Miss Universe. It's not just being a beauty face and, and, and walking like a model. It's more about the, the way you connect with people, the way you uh, speak, the way you share your story because it's very important to get people to know you very well, to show your real self in order to make people understand why you are here. It's not just, okay, I'm going to represent my country and I'm going to model. No, it's more about what you have to offer to the world. And I feel like I've been working so hard since I was a little girl because this is a dream of mine since I was a little girl. And that is like the, the most important part, the, the motivation and what drives my ambition of being here. How does it feel that this was your dream as a little girl? How does it feel to be in this? I mean, this is it. Yeah, this is it, and, and sometimes I cannot believe that I'm here, and, and we have so few days left to the final show, and this experience has taught me that you can carry out any dream you have if you work hard, if you work with discipline, if you work with love and with passion with everything you do, and if you are able, if you realize that if you love yourself and you accept yourself the way you are, and if you can or have the ability to share your whole story, you can conquer the universe. So that for me, it's um, such a, a, an amazing experience and I'm really proud of myself and proud of my Venezuelan people. How do you prepare for such a big week, for such a big event? How do you sort of mentally and even maybe physically prepare for like, you know, this? It's important to be prepared and focused in every uh, moment of the, of the pageant and of the journey. Because sometimes you might hear a lot of voices and sometimes you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. But if you are really focused on, the, on what you want and your goal, I think the best way to do it is being concentrated in each activity. And at the end of the day, we don't have time to do anything else than the activity. So it, it's, it's not that easy because we also have social media that has put in a lot of pressure on us. But I feel it's more like we have to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
it, it's more like we have to be focused and in everything we are doing. And also, I always try to breathe, to meditate at the end of the day and rest a little bit just to get back on track the other day. Yeah, it's important to do that because there is a lot of pressure, especially yeah. with all of the, you know, the fans. Um, and so, yeah, how do you deal with that? You really sort of take a breath and sort of relax. And, and how do you put all of this in perspective? This is kind of a crazy world. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard. To, it, 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 you know, how do you keep a level? You know, your feet on the ground and stay grounded. Yeah, being stay grounded, it's it's really important in everything you do in your life, because that is the only way you can keep going and you can succeed. If you are always attached of what you, of your, uh, to your beliefs, to your values, to your principles, there's nothing that can stop you and. If you are attached to your story and what you are, who you are, and you share that to the world, the world will love you in the way you are. You don't have to change. You don't have to become like others. You don't have to compare with others. So it's, it's kind of, uh, people can may believe that it's complicated because you have a lot of expo exposure and it's such a big platform, you can feel overwhelmed. But I believe that the key is to be focus always on what you want and who you are and always remember that you if you love yourself and if you love others and if you accept the way you are you don't have to change to become something better or to success in in the world how have you used that platform that you mentioned and that voice how have you used it to, to make a difference I feel like today I can make a difference because I'm not the type of the Miss Venezuela that people are used to, to, to see. Because I believe I'm changing that beauty standards of perfection that sometimes people are used to. And some people were telling me that from a long time ago and I've been, and I've been criticized for, for a long time since I became Miss Venezuela because I feel like it's, it's better to share your story than just do a good catwalk or change your outfit too many times during the day. So I love to connect with people and I love to share my story and always be true to myself and then I can reflect that into other people. And I want to use this platform to let girls to understand that they don't have to change themselves. They just need to hear their own voice, to hear their intuition and work hard for whatever they want to do because the only responsible for your actions is yourself. So keep loving yourself, accepting yourself, and then all the opportunities will come to your life. What do you take out of you know, the Miss Universe competition um, in terms of your personal growth, in terms of learning about yourself? What do you take away from this week? I already take away a lot of amazing experiences. I, I feel like I'm not the same woman that arrived here like many days ago. I'm just a different woman uh, and a strong and stronger woman. And I'm proud of that. I think that is a, the best crown we can get to our homes, uh, our personal growth, personal development. And since I became Miss Venezuela, I feel like I've been growing and I've been uh, realizing how important and how impactful you can be if you use your platform in the right way. And so that is what I'm trying to do, to take advantage of every single moment where I can send a message to someone or I can maybe talk to little girls and tell them, okay, never stop believing in your dreams because no one can stop you. Even your family, if they told you you can't, you can do it. It's just like I, I'm so overwhelmed sometimes and I cannot believe that this experience is about to, to end. And no matter the results, I'm really proud at first because I'm representing my country and that is such an honor. And second, because I had the opportunity to meet a lot of girls from different countries, exchange cultures, and that is such a big learning for me. And also this taught me that you have to use every single moment and you have to be thankful for every single moment in your life and use it right, use it wisely to tell the world the one thing that you can share about your story. And for me, it's that you have to love yourself, accept yourself, and do whatever you want in your life.